Hey everyone, this is the Blackjack Hacker here and welcome to a brand new video. So today I'm going to show you how to count cards faster when you're playing blackjack. Remember to subscribe and like this video because there's many more blackjack tips and tricks I got for you guys in the near future. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So tip number one to actually count cards faster is to actually count cards in pairs. Now, what do I mean by counting cards in pairs? So basically when you are dealt the first uh, hand of the shoe or every other hand, uh, every single player will have a pair of cards, okay? We'll have two cards dealt to them at first. And it's basically way more efficient and way more, it just way more fast when you count uh, two by two than instead of counting them like literally every single one of them. It just goes twice as fast and it's just way more effective. So I'm gonna go on a whiteboard and show you guys how this is done. Okay, now we're on a whiteboard over here. So as you can see, uh, every single player has different pairs of cards. So as you can see over here, you have an eight and an ace. So instead of doing like, okay, in like in your head saying like, okay, eight is a zero count and um, an ace is a high card. So it's a minus one count. So now my total running count is minus one. Okay, now over here, eight is a neutral so it's valued at zero, so my count still stays at minus one. And seven is also a neutral, so my count still stays at minus one, okay? As you can see, the process in your head, okay, you know, it's it's pretty, because by counting every single card, it pretty is uh, like a lot slower than if you would count in pairs, okay? This is the difference with counting in pairs. So let's say I would like to count in pairs. Um, what I would do over here is, Instead, I would just say, okay, there's a high card and a neutral card. So that means the count is now minus one. Now, okay, there's two neutral cards over here, which is valued a total of zero. So now my running count is still at minus one. Over here, we have two high cards. So that means it is minus two. So as you can see now, my total running count is minus three, okay? Uh, over here, we have one, um, one high card and one low card, so they cancel each other out, so that means uh, the running count for di this pair is zero, so now it stays at minus three, and over here you have two low cards, which is plus two, okay? So my total um, my total uh, running count for the first pairs of uh, the shoe uh, is um, minus one, okay? so. As you can see, it goes a lot faster counting in pairs than counting every single one when you're doing it in your head, okay? So this is the first tip I got for you guys. Okay, so tip number two, guys, is to pretend that the neutral cards do not exist. Because when you think about it, guys, seven, eight, and nine are valued at zero, okay? So they do not affect the count whatsoever because they're valued at nothing, okay? So by just not not paying attention to these, it just goes way faster. The process goes way faster because if you sort of pretend that they exist and add them to the count, well, you know that they don't add anything to the count. So no matter what it, what you use as a tactic, they won't affect the count. So it's just way easier and way more effective to remove these cards uh, from your head and just pretend that like literally every time you see a seven, eight or nine that is dealt, pretend that it doesn't exist and already go to the next card to start uh, counting, okay? Okay, so tip number three is to play at the last seat, okay? So playing at the last seat, especially if you're a beginner at card counting, it can really be effective because it allows you to analyze and count the cards more efficiently, okay? Because if you were at the first uh, seat, okay, uh, you would have to count the cards really, really fast. And it also gives you a lot of pressure because once a dealer finishes, seeing, finishes dealing the first cards of uh, the hand, the play goes automatically to you and he points your hand with his fingers. So you you need to take action fast. And, you know, if especially if you're placed first seat, you know, uh, you can get mixed up with the count just by all that pressure of you playing first and starting first, okay? So by being last, you just don't have pressure. You can easily count uh, the cards and um it's just way more accurate because you know you can double check if the count is good while the other players are playing before you so tip number four so the last tip i have for you guys and this is a really important one is to actually practice card counting at home with one deck okay so basically you can buy a deck like literally at the dollar store or at walmart and basically what you want to do is uh just go home 
and um, once you have the deck, you just shuffle the deck, okay? So shuffle it for a couple of minutes, and then what you would do is you would flip the first card on top of the deck and see what the count, the value count of that card is. And then once you know what the count is of that card, then flip the next card and see what the total running count is. Then once you've done that, flip the other card and another and another. So you continuously do it until you finish the whole uh, deck, okay? And usually if you your card counting was accurate, you should end up at a running count of zero because remember there is as many low cards as high cards in a deck of blackjack. And usually um, by practicing, you'll see that you'll just you will be able to literally count the whole deck faster and faster and usually i would say usually if you're able to count under a minute and 10 seconds a whole deck like if you're able to count it perfectly 100 percent accurately you're good to go in real life or online casinos to count cards and you know in my opinion it's pretty fast so uh yeah these were the four tips guys uh to count cards faster if you have any questions or comments to say about this video feel free i will answer all of your questions and yeah once again make sure to like and subscribe for more blackjack tips and with all that being said see you in the next one guys Bye bye